Hello, Grand Rapids. This is City Manager Mark Washington. I'm hoping you are enjoying this wonderful summer weather here in West Michigan. I know our uh, youth and students are have mixed emotions. They're happy to get back to some sense of normalcy going to school, but I'm sure they will uh, wish they could be out all day enjoying this wonderful weather. But um, I had a chance to meet some of them. Uh, this summer as we've hired almost 400 youth in our Grow 1000 program and had to be part of uh, many commencement uh, ceremonies with that summer youth employment program. Thank, I want to thank all the youth, the parents, as well as our sponsors, as well as our partners who hired uh, our youth across this community. The job well done. Yesterday was a very busy day at City Commission. Uh, we heard the Office of Public Accountability Oversight report. Uh, they reported both on their strategic plan as well as the review of several studies that have occurred over the years. And so, you know, the police department is still accepting feedback on their strategic plan and uh, will be coming back in September the 29th to provide an update to the community and to the commission. And so hopefully what was shared by the oversight office will also inform uh, the police chief's strategic plan. We made significant progress on housing development yesterday. Uh, the Boston Square redevelopment project was approved that will add almost 400 units of housing. There will be mixed income housing, but also so there would make mixed use in that development with lots of community benefits and it is certainly a model project on how to create affordable housing but also how to create um, good mixed use uh, projects and uh, wealth creation in terms of job creation and business development. And so I want to thank uh, the neighbors at Boston Square as well as Oakdale. Uh, certainly our partner, development partner with Amplified GR, the, all the staff that contributed to it, the, the, uh, obviously the, the support of the planning commissioners. This is a significant project and will serve as a model for many years to come here in the city of Grand Rapids. We also uh, approved additional acquisition and re disposition of land uh, in our agreement with the state land bank. As you know, we no longer have a Kent County uh, land bank, and so we have a partnership with agreement with the state to help us to make sure that uh, when there are properties that are foreclosed, that we can ensure that those foreclosed properties are redeveloped into affordable housing. And so uh, that agreement will allow us to uh, redevelop over 60 units, at least 60 units of, of, of affordable housing for people who wish to, to own homes. I also am very proud of the, the commission's approval and designation of the Juneteenth Freedom Festival, Dundumba, uh, as a city-sponsored event. So this will be sponsored our, our it's just as we sponsor the 4th of July and recognize the liberation of our country, it is also good that from at this moment in time of our history that we officially recognize, at least on paper, the Emancipation Proclamation or the delayed liberation of African Americans who were enslaved at that time as part of our continued healing process and acknowledgement of um, the need to have more equity and inclusion and racial justice. So I want to thank the commission for doing that and our festival partners as well. Um, we also approve the position for the homeless coordinator. This is the first position we had within City Hall that will focus full time on helping us, uh, making sure that we are responsive to the need of, needs of our homeless community, particularly during this vulnerable time during COVID, uh, where we know the infection rate, uh, they're among the vulnerable communities that, that are uh, susceptible to uh, having a high infection rate. And so we need someone full time to support them in making sure that we not only um, mitigate uh, opportunities for infections or reinfections, but also address the core issues of housing uh, during this important time, as well as all the mental health and behavioral health support that they may need. We will be coordinating with our nonprofit partners and government um, collaborators in the space, as well as uh, coordinating work of the hot team. We just want to get more deliberate uh, as a municipality in addressing this important issue. And I think uh, this is a step in the right direction. This is an in interim approach. We funded the position through the end of December, and uh, we're looking forward to see what outcomes we may have that will affect both uh, uh, the homeless population's uh, ability to remain safe during COVID, as well as the need to get them housed. 
Um, so proud of the efforts of our partnerships with Steepletown, uh, as well as Next Steps in helping us to maintain the cleanliness and beautification of our city. We're going to double down on our efforts to uh, clean parks, alleys, um, the right-of-ways throughout the city. We've talked to the Rapid, MDOT, as well as uh, the Road Commission, Mobile GR. Just the fact that there are more people that are outside now because of COVID and utilizing our open spaces and the public right-of-ways. And unfortunately, that brings not only, uh, fortunately it brings that the safe experience with outdoor, but unfortunately it also brings about more littering. So we want everybody to make sure we keep our community sustainable, clean up after yourselves, but we know that it's not always the case. And so we're gonna double down on our efforts uh, to make sure that we're keeping our city clean and beautiful. And finally, I am so proud to partner with uh, DGRI, uh, the Chamber, as well as uh, Experience Grand Rapids in bringing our first major series of outdoor festivals uh, since COVID-19. We've, we've really, since the stay-home order, uh, there, there were many cancellations over the spring and summer, and so this is our makeup, if you will, our mulligan. We're going to have the Festival of Festival Series. It's going to uh, start on the 28th and run through October the 3rd, and it will be a series of outdoor events. They will be scaled back somewhat, obviously, because of the need to maintain appropriate social distance and keep crowd sizes down. But we're going to try to do it safely. We want everyone to come out with your PPE, uh, masks, sanitizers will be, uh, hand sanitizers will be available in, in many of those spaces. But uh, this is going to be the first major event that we've had in some time. And we want to demonstrate to our community and to the state and to the nation that it can be done responsibly and safely. And so if you like more information, there's going to be 37 events over this period of time, all taking place outdoor, outdoors. Uh, please visit thebridgegr.com, thebridgegr.com, and find an event that's uh, and you might like, they're all family friendly. And so hoping that you will uh, be able to come out and be part of that. Continue to be safe and we'll talk to you next month. Take care.